Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to a game called Chromatos. This is a demo. The game is in Kickstarter for a couple more weeks, so I decided to download the demo and check this out because this looked really, really cool. I will leave the link down to the description to the uh, Kickstarter page. Go check that out, see if this is something you might want to support. And yeah, without further ado, let's go. New game, come on. There we go. Set your difficulty. Original. Intended difficulty of the game. Battles have little margin for error and game mechanics will force you to make difficult decisions. Designed for players who want to play Chromatos as the creator originally envisioned it. And rebalanced. Yeah, I think we'll go with the original. The visuals look really cool. Also, the music reminds me a little bit of Grand Kokoro. That's like piano tune there. The music volume is really, really low, so I don't. I'm expecting that to be fixed in the like the full game. Have I ever told you the difference between destiny and fate? Destiny is what will happen because of your actions. Fate is what will happen in spite of your actions. Is that so? Huh. Interesting thought. You are falling now, and you will stop falling soon. But before that, I must know more about you. Please, answer honestly. Are you troubled by the fact that your life is over? I'm not ready to die yet. I've been waiting to die since I was born. Use arrow keys to move left or right. Ah! Oh! Crap. Wrong answer. I was going for the other one, but I just... Yeah. Huh. Well, this is how we go, then. These are very important questions, so please take your time. Would you choose to be miserable because of others, or for others to be miserable because of you? I'd be miserable. Hurting others makes me more upset than being miserable myself. I'd make others miserable. I need to take care of myself firstly. Um, oof, it's, uh, yeah, I'd probably end up being miserable. Well, I don't know. I can't be quite selfish. I don't know. I see. Thank you. I am thankful you are cooperating. Please be honest, honest for these next questions. Do you spend more time thinking about the past or the future? The past, it's harder to take my mind off of things that I've already done. The future, it's harder to take my mind off of things that could happen to me. Ooh, future. Mm -hmm. I wonder if those colors there mean anything. Thank you for your continued cooperation. You're all welcome. I have two more questions for you. Do you feel like you would be in a better place if you cared more or cared less? If I cared more, I could have worked harder and done better for myself. If I cared less, I could have taken a breath and enjoyed my life more. Ooh, these are difficult questions. Really difficult. Um, it would be easier to cope with the world if I cared a little bit less. I wouldn't get agitated and anxious about things that I have no power over. If I cared more, I don't know. Yeah, I could have worked harder. Yeah, let's go here. Mm -hmm. There's one more, I think. This is the last question, yeah. Please be careful with your answer. This is very important. Do you remember what I said about destiny and fate? Destiny is what is meant to happen because of your actions, because you willed it so. Fate is what is meant to happen, often in spite of your actions. My question for you is, is your downfall your destiny or your fate? The reason I ask is because there seems to be no reason for your demise. Many often say things can happen for no reason, but in actuality that is impossible. 
anything that happens is the only thing that ever could have happened. Everything that leads up to something happening is responsible for it happening. Nothing has ever happened without reason, except for this. How could you possibly cause your own downfall without reason? I can't let you die because you give me an answer. Before you give me an answer. Sorry. I have an idea. We are short on time, so I will delay your demise. Roughly estimating, I can give you at most 12 hours to meet your destiny or fate before your demise catches up to you. I am certain that 12 hours is enough time for me to figure out exactly the type of person you are. Don't worry about my last question. I will have my answer soon. Destiny beckon beckons, little one. Ooh. Hello. What are we doing? Leroy, hi. Where? Where? What? This is... What is this place? It's night, but so bright. Where am I? Why am I? I'm in a room that I've never walked into, lying in a bed I've never slept in. I don't recognize this room or anything in it. This is a hospital. Somehow I'm sure of it. Hospital. Noun. An institution that houses those between life and death until they commit to one or the other. See also prison, purgatory, pubs. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I like the humor in this. But why am I in a hospital? Arms working? Check. Legs working? Check. Head working? Mm, I would hope so. Wait. Wait, there's something attached to my arm. Ow. Okay. Note to self, don't pull on the arm thing. Yeah. Mm, hey, what's with this freaky tattoo in my hand? I don't know. I don't understand. The last I remember, I was just... I was just... What? Oh god. I don't remember a thing. What day is it? What time is it? Where am I? I can't answer a single one of those questions. Huh. I'm in the hospital, but I'm not sick. Actually, why am I so sure I'm not sick? Now that I think about it, I might be sick. I feel sick anyway. I feel so tired. Maybe I need more sleep. Maybe when I wake up this will all make sense. Or maybe I'm still asleep. That's right. Maybe I'm just dreaming. I'll just go back to sleep and then I'll wake up in real life eventually. Yeah. That's, that'll work. <laughs> Leroy! Oh my gosh! Leroy? Leroy? I'm Leroy apparently. Or so this woman seems to think. How do you feel? Does anything hurt? I guess I'm not going back to sleep now. Can you hear me, Leroy? I can hear you. Perfect. Oh, I'm so glad. I was so worried and every day felt longer and longer. Slower. Slower. I'm starting to get a headache. I wish she'd go away so I could sleep. Sorry, I got too excited. Can I have a look at your... look at you real quickly? Why ask when you're already coming over here? Hey, ow, ow, oh, where are you shining that light in my eyes? I'm testing your pupillary... pupillary reflex. Hold still. All right. Alrighty then. I don't know why I understand what that means, but I do. Now turn your head to the side, alright? Could you m maybe tell me what's going on? Yes. Sorry, Th just wanted to make sure you were okay. You were in an accident. What kind of accident? In the ICU. It looks like you took a nasty fall when part of the floor collapsed. Wait, the floor collapsed? The floor where? At the hospital. During the storm. Don't tell me you don't... I don't know who you are and I have no idea how I got here. I think I need the basics. I uh, I see. Uh oh, looks like she wasn't expecting that. Sorry. So, uh, my name is Izzy. We work together. Okay, we work together. Doing what? 
I hope I don't have an awful job. Something tells me I probably have an awful job. Well, I'm a doctor, okay? I'm a resident. Only for seven more months, though. We're doctors? Actually, you're an MI EMT. I'm an EMT. EMT, noun, emergency medical technician. Speci especially trained medical technician to divide to interfere with natural selection. <laughs> yes. I drive ambulances. <laughs> you do a lot more than that. Give yourself some credit. But anyway, you sustained a brain injury while we were evacuating patients because you made a very bad decision. That storm was literally roaring over our, sh over our heads. You just had to end up like this. Wait, please, what do you mean, like this? Oh, well, what's the best way to explain this to you? That accident happened three weeks ago as of yesterday. You've been in a coma since then. I was really starting to worry about you. I've been right beside you, waiting for the day that you finally woke up. God, a coma? It took me whole three weeks to wake up? I never said you woke up. Whoa, hello! Okay. I'm into this. <laughs> Is it? Hello? Where did she go? So wait, did he die? Glasgow National Hospital, now entering. Okay. State of mind, alright. 100%, okay. How do I... What do I do, okay? This is how I move. Um, space to enter, okay. Oh, ooh, ooh, glitchy. Why are you glitchy? Can I enter the... I, I can enter the glitchy door. Space to remember. Phone. How long is this thing going to ring for? Whoever is calling must really want to get through. Though, from the looks of it, this is a hospital ward phone. You probably can't call it unless you're calling from somewhere else in the hospital. Wait, how did I know that? Where have I seen this phone before? Come on, think. Think. If I can remember this phone, I might remember something important about who I am. As I focus on the phone, something comes to mind. Instantly. Involuntarily. Forcibly. Suddenly, oof! Something hiding in the shadow of my forgotten memories emerge. It barrels towards me. It's too late for my mind to escape. I already feel it closing in around my thoughts. That's creepy. I've got no choice. I've got to fight back. Okay. Before each battle, you will construct a deck built from the cards you own. Number of cards equipped, uh, number of cards collected. You can only use card colors that you have discovered and only as many as you have collected. For now, you have 40 black cards. You should use all of them. Cards do not disappear after being used in battle. Okay. Arrow keys, move courses, space, select. Destiny. No additional effects besides damaging enemies. Fate deals no damage. And I don't know. Okay, these are the colored. Okay. Yeah, sure, let's go with this. Ah, ah, there, there. Ready. I am ready. Destiny beckons. Beckons. How do I even pronounce that? You will have to have a limited amount of time to defeat all enemies that appear. Press the arrow keys to play the cards next to them and deal damage to your target. For now, none of your cards have any special effects, so play freely, okay? Do not be discouraged by defeat. The damage you deal during a battle is carried over to your next attempt, and enemies do not heal between fights. Every loss is a step towards victory. Okay! 
Ah, okay, this is... Oh, uh, yeah. When you are attacked, your cards may turn into colorless cards with negative effects. Uh, that one... Uh, the hourglass takes longer to play, and X cannot be played. Think carefully when you see these cards. Uh-huh, okay. In case of emergencies, you can press spacebar to discard all cards in your hand and draw four new cards. This comes with massive time penalty used sparingly. In truly hopeless situations, you can press F to immediately forfeit the battle. First, Figment dresses you out, okay? Switch? Wait, oh, oh! First, it makes you tired. Okay, okay. Mind cleared. Space returned to the nightmare. Ooh, so there's like this combat kind of thingy. A bit like reminded me of like Magic the Gathering. Actually, <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. So here we are. Is this like a cutscene? Uh huh. Yeah. So we might have a problem. Uh oh. What's up? I can't get in the elevator. I guess they deactivated my card already. Hmm. That's not good. Maybe you could check the staff room? I think there should be an extra key card in there. Where's the room? Should be right next to you. Room 502. Uh huh. Alright. Thanks. I'll check there. Right. See you soon. Okay. So, yeah, that was. Kinda like 502. This is the door that I was all glitchy when I first went by it. Okay, but let's go there. State of mind, 100%. Uh huh. Space to remember. Oh, okay, so. What are you? Oh, oh, I have... Mockery makes you feel something. What was it? Mockery makes you feel worn out. Okay, and there's the hit points over that thingy. Mockery makes you feel worn out. Oh, god damn. Hold. Oh, this is how we do this. Oh. Oh, and there's a timer there. So... I have a limited amount of time to get... Oh god! Fuck! Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on, there we go! Okay, so yeah, there was a clock ticking, and so we have limited amount of time to get rid of the enemies, which is why the... The... What, 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 what? The hourglass card is, yeah, that, that's actually kind of dangerous. Ooh, press space to enter the nightmare. So, okay. This isn't a spare card. It's just someone else's. Thanks for your kind donation, Bernie Winston. I'll give this back later. Hopefully Bernie didn't get fired this week too. Okay, and the state of mind is still 100% all right. Wait, take the an ID card. Okay, how can I see the? Can I do anything with this? Is there anything else in here? No. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to the hallway then. State of mind is still all right. Is there anything? Hello, what are you? Space to remember. Oh no, wait, that's the elevator, right? Okay. A half mic breaks your composure. Oh damn you! Don't break my composure. Okay, okay. Smat, 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 smat. I can just keep spamming that one, one card that I am able to play. And these deal only one damage per card, but that's okay. I like it how these are actually pretty fast. There, I'm pretty sure there will be some like more um, 
sophisticated card me mechanics um, later on in the game. Looking forward to it, actually. Alright, card's working. What's more, it looks like I have access to every floor. Hmm. What the hell am I doing? Snooping around. You are snooping around. Space to enter, okay? Hmm. What are you? Space to interact. Oh, so not... Uh, colors. Where are the floor numbers? I don't know. Maybe the bottom button leads to the exit. If there are more of those things in this building, I need to just leave and not explore anything unnecessarily. We need to explore everything. Also, what if that girl said is true? If what that girl said is true, and I'm still in a coma, then this place must be all in my head. So this is all my imagination, right? Then, maybe I'm in, in control to some degree, like a lucid dream. What if my, I close my eyes and pretend that I'm safe and sound at home? Um, I have a feeling that that's not going to work now, is it? I can't remember what home looks like. It doesn't look like I can control this place freely anyways. I also doubt I can leave as easily as hitting the X button on some elevator. I suppose the best move is to is still to make sure that I can't just take the exit out. Besides, I don't think I could handle seeing even one more of those monsters. Okay, hi! You just had to say it now, did you? Yeah, space to close the door. <laughs> Uh, then what? Okay, hi. To the exit. Huh, state of mind? Alright, ambulance bus. Lots 3 to 15, all wards. Glasgow National. Eternal care unit. Eternal care. Uh, that's not a real unit in a real hospital now, is it? There's no such thing as an eternal care. Oh, hi! Space to talk. Hey, Izzy. Oh, hi, Leroy. I'm glad you're here. The... Hold on. Listen, why don't you just abandon me like... Why do you just abandon me like that? Um, I had to. I got... Um... <sighs> You don't just get away with this by just giving me a pouty face. You can't just drop something like that on a guy and walk away. And you never came back either. Have you been out here this whole time? I'm sorry. I thought that it made sense to wait by the exit. But why did you disappear in the first place? That's not important right now, okay? The ambulance is coming soon. Okay, Izzy. You've lost me again. Why are you waiting for an ambulance? So you can get on it. Can I maybe get some more information on that? You're killing me here. Okay, fine. We have some time before it gets here, so I guess I can explain. Start from the top, please. Alright, so you know how I told you that the real you is still in coma? Yeah, but what do you mean by that? I'm awake and talking to you right now. That's because this world isn't real world. Like you asked, it's a dream, kind of. This is bull. I know you're scared and confused, but what I'm saying is pretty simple. The real Leroy is currently in a coma. This world is full of people whose real selves are comatose, just like you. Wait, there are ought to be other people in here? Not other people, other... Yep, but you shouldn't worry about them. You should focus on yourself, okay? Now hold on, hold on, hold on! What about Izzy then? Is she in coma as well? Huh. Wait, there are other people somewhere around here. How many? Why doesn't Izzy care? So, am I dying? Well... In a way, isn't everyone... You know what I mean. Well, why would you think that you're dying? Brain injuries that lead to comas generally result in death. 
Well, you're alive and in stable condition right now. Stable condition? Halfway between being comatose and being dead. Technically, both comatose and dead are incredibly stable conditions. I'm just gonna let this one go before she changes her mind and leaves again. Fine. Whatever. So, why am I in this world? This world is a test. Well, normally it is. But not for you. You're special. That's why I said you just need to, need to wait for the ambulance. If you get in the ambulance, you'll wake up. Easy peasy. If I get in the ambulance, I'll wake up. Just like that. Really? That kind of seems too easy. If I get on that ambulance in this world, I'll wake up in the real world. Do I have that right? Yep. Why don't you take a seat with me? It won't be long. How do you know all this? That's also not important right now, okay? Let me explain the rest. Everyone who comes here receives a mark somewhere on their body. A mark? What do you mean? She means the tattoo on your hand. Exactly what I said, silly. It's a mark. Like a tattoo. And uh, they're color-coded, like the one on your hand. Your color responds to the reason that you're in a coma. For example, Leroy, yours is black. Wait, so there are people running around here with brain injuries and they all have black marks? Uh, not quite. When I say reason, it don't mean the medical one exactly. How can I put this? Everyone here has some kind of law and made some kind of choice that put them here. That's the reason. So, it's like your fatal flaw or, some flaw or something. It doesn't totally make sense to me, but I'll roll with it. And then, what was mine? My flaw? Actually, like I said, there's a special case. Black means none. You didn't have a flaw that put you here, you just made a mistake. That's also why I told you that this world isn't a test for you. You're an exception. You can just choose to leave. But it, it's a test for other people, right? What kind of test? Well, basically, normally you'd relive, relive your memories and reverse the bad choice you made and that put you here, and then you wake up. Relive your memories, reverse bad decisions. Is this some kind of joke? It sounds like a movie. But I don't have to do that. Nope. All you have to do is get on that ambulance when it comes and you'll wake up. So come on, come sit with me, okay? It's really that easy, huh? Yep. Shouldn't you be grateful? I guess so. This is just a lot. Well, don't worry. I'm here with you. Come to think of it, since you're here too, where's your mark? <gasps> naughty, naughty. I can't just show it to you, you know? It's embarrassing. No. Alright, okay, what the hell was that? Oh, alright, I guess. Sorry. It's okay. So anyway, the ambulance comes every hour for 12 hours. You can take it whenever you want. Of course, there's no reason to wait that long since it'll be here in a few minutes. Hang on. Why only 12 hours? What happens then? If you don't take the ambulance by hour 12, then... Game over. You'll never wake up. But we're way ahead of schedule, so don't worry. This is a mess. Why does she know all this? Why does she want me to leave so soon? I mean, if I have 12 hours, shouldn't I do something with them? Hmm, I guess it, I guess it can't hurt to wait a little while. Oh, so we're not going just yet, are we? Uh-huh. Huh? Okay. We've been here for a long time and I haven't seen or heard a thing. What's going on? It feels like it's been hours. Hey, Izzy. Hasn't it been a while already? Be patient, silly. It's coming. Don't you trust me? I do. It's just... Maybe I can look around until the ambulance shows up. No, no, no. No, stay here. What if you miss it? Then it'll still come around again for 11 more hours, right? Don't you want to wake up? Don't you want to go home? There's no reason to stay here when you can't just leave. I'm just trying to help you, Leroy. 
Who are you? Her face looks sincere. I don't think she'd have any reason to lie to me, but... But does she? You've got an important decision to make. What's it gonna be, little one? Wait as long as it takes with easy, go back inside. Hmm. Huh. I oh I I I wanna I kinda wanna do both. Can I do both? Can I do both? Well I have yeah sure I can. I can just play this again. Let's go back inside now. So what happens to Izzy then? Sorry, Izzy. This just doesn't feel right. I'll stay close by so I can hear the ambulance coming, okay? No, don't. There's no point. I have to have a look around, okay? I'll be back. I just can't wait here forever, you know? Leroy, I need to warn you about something. About the monsters? Yeah, don't worry. I already know about the monsters in there. This is a different kind of monster. Avoid anyone you see with a white mark. Uh-huh. Why? What's so special about white marks? They will do everything they can to keep you from waking up. If you see someone with a white mark, you must do your best to escape before they say anything to you. Don't fall for any of their tricks. No, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Izzy. Don't thank me. With time, I hope you'll come to forgive me. Huh. Okay. Now that's interesting. Also, since this demo seems to be a bit longer than I at first expected, I'm gonna leave this episode of Chromatos right here and make another one. This looks really, really interesting and very much like my kind of game. So yeah, this is in Kickstarter for a couple of more weeks. Uh, the link to the page is down in the description and you can download the demo to yourself as well and, you know, go support this this project I really want to see this finished so let's 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 hope that they they make it because I want to play the full game the start of this game really seems interesting and really like yeah my kind of game so well yeah I will leave this episode of chromatos demo right here thank you all so much for watching this if you liked it let me know I hope you're having a great day and I will see you again next time